She calls me. Listen to your filthy mouth, you fucking whore! God damn you, motherfucker, cocksucker! Cactus. 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 Today's episode is sponsored by Fun Society Arcade. He's one of the many listeners that support the show through the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. Thank you, Fun Society Arcade, for supporting the show and making more shows happen. Holy shit, two full shows in two days. That's pretty crazy. And it's only Tuesday. I might actually be able to make up for doing only one show per week for the past couple of weeks. The long shows, I mean, not the hobo sods, but probably not. This will probably be the last one of the week. I'll get busy and just do nothing until next week. You know how it is. So there's a new Calls of Mass Confusion out. I haven't watched it yet, but apparently there's an episode 26 now. Even though 25 was supposed to be the last one, what the hell, Giad? He's just trying to trick everyone. I haven't watched it yet, but it's a short one. It's called The Truth. I imagine it talks about the arrest of Giad and his cameraman. I should just watch it right now here on the show, but nah, I'll do that later today, maybe. If you want to see the very last episode of Calls of Mass Confusion, though, even though you already saw it, I think, then head over to youtube.com slash Jesus in a Dump Truck. That's where you can watch it, and you can keep an eye out for future GAD projects. So I've got two brand new money-making schemes, everyone. The first one involves buttons. You know how I've been selling PLA buttons for the past, I don't know, 12 years or something on the website? I decided about a year ago I was really sick of making buttons and selling them on the website, so I got rid of my button-making equipment, sold it all on eBay, and I'm never going to make another PLA button again. I'm talking about those buttons, you know, that pin on your jacket or your nipple piercings or whatever. Those kind of buttons. I still have a couple hundred PLA buttons left, though. They're just sitting here in a box, and I want to get rid of them. So money-making scheme number one would be for you to go to phonelosers.org slash buttons and send me 10 bucks, and I'll send you 10 PLA buttons. And I'll also send you five other buttons, like other random... Like, I have a bunch of Art of Phone Larking buttons. I have some Prank Call Nation buttons. And then I have just, you know, random, completely unrelated to the Prank Call community or the PLA buttons, weird random stuff that I would throw in there in addition to your 10 PLA buttons. And I was also going to throw in a sticker and one of those uh, badge pass things to PLA Con 2015. That's all I can really think of that I have around here that I want to get rid of. Oh wait, no, lanyards. I have a shitload of lanyards, you guys. That's what I'm going to throw in with the buttons. I'm going to throw in a lanyard, a PLA lanyard, and then probably a PLA sticker or something. But you get the point, right? Go to phonelosers.org slash buttons, place an order, and you'll get like 15 buttons and some random PLA stuff, including a lanyard. And I'm just going to beg people to keep doing this until I get rid of all of these buttons. And then money-making scheme number two is that I'm getting rid of my old mixer, the one that I've used for the phone show for, I don't know, two or three years, I guess. I forget exactly when I got it. Maybe it was four years ago. But recently, if you guys remember, I got a new mixer. And my new mixer is awesome, and I love it, and I'm just going to get rid of the old one. I thought I'd keep it around. Maybe I could use it for other certain things, but nah, fuck it. I'm getting rid of this thing. And I put it on eBay. There's only two days left for this mixer, so you guys better hurry if you want to try and get it. I think originally this was a 10-day auction, and I completely forgot to mention it on a show last week. So now you only have two days left. Right now the bidding is up to $94. So good luck with that. If you want a mixer, I signed the back of it and everything. And I I put a PLA sticker on the front of it in hopes of making it seem more valuable, even though it's not. I'll put a link in the show notes for this auction if you want to try winning it. I guess technically that was money-making scheme number three, because the first one was the Patreon thing. And I'm not counting the subliminal messages that I throw into the show to get you guys to support things and buy PLA merchandise. That part doesn't count, because you guys can't hear that. All right, now a word from our sponsor. It's the Mickey Mouse talking phone. (laughs) 
Mickey, come over for a party. You call phone deck. Okay. With a Mickey Mouse docking phone, the battery is not included. This is Donald Duck. It's Donald. Come on over. With a Mickey Mouse talking phone, you can call six different Disney characters. Yup, you guessed it. I'm Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Mickey Mouse talking phone from Hasbro's preschool division. Good morning, department. This is Vern. Oh, hello, Vern. This is Roy. I'm a tenant there. Uh, Roy? Uh, yeah, yep. What, and, what apartment? Uh, 62. 62. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter, though. Like, I'm just calling to apologize because I actually uh, peed on the doorknob last night to your office. So I don't know who was there first today, but they probably got pee on their hands, and I, I feel kind of bad about it. You're not a tenant here. Oh, yeah, I definitely am. 62? Well, I gave you a fake apartment number because I don't really want you to know who I am. I just I feel bad about peeing on the doorknob there. So I'm just letting you know I peed on the doorknob. So where do you live? Well, I'm, I'm here in the apartments. What apartment? Washington Park. The the one you're in. Durr. What apartment? Well, I don't want to tell you because I peed on the doorknob. You know, I was just drinking a little bit last night. It seemed funny at the time. So I peed all over the doorknob there in, there in the office. So I'm calling to apologize and just let you know that you might want to wash your hands. Well, I want to find out who you are. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, what? Why do you want to do that? I'm, I'm being nice. I'm doing the right thing. Obviously, you're not. So, what do you mean? Obviously, I'm not. You think I shouldn't have called and apologized? No, I, I think, I think if if you want to apologize, you need to tell me who you are. I told you who I am. I'm Roy. Roy what? No, Roy who? I'm, I'm not a thing. I'm a person. God. I don't have a Roy that lives here. Well, I, I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't be on the lease. I so think, you're not supposed to be here. Look, I think you're missing the point. I'm calling to apologize. You're welcome for that. I think the point. What? You you don't you don't belong here. If you're not if you're not on the lease, if you haven't put an application in, you have no right to. Li- you're illegally living here. I'm just staying on the couch for a little bit. I don't really live here. That I'm doesn't just, matter. You can't do that. Well, I'm doing it. So what are you going to do about it? I'm just calling to let you know that I peed on the doorknob. That's all. Okay, well. It doesn't matter that I live here or I don't live here. I mean, people are allowed to have visitors, aren't they? They're supposed to register here at the office. Nah, oh, fuck that that's shit. Who who would do that? Come on. What are, what that's is this? The, the lease requirement. What is this? Communist Russia? Every tenant signs a lease when they move in, and that's part of the lease. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad I don't live here. That sounds stupid. Well, it's for people just like you, see, that's that's the reason they have to do that. What do you mean people like me? What's that supposed to mean? You're, you're staying here illegally. You're not supposed to be here. It's not illegal. It's 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 just sure it like it's, it's a policy thing. It's no, the, it's illegal. It's the apartment complex's own dumb policy. No. Yes? It's, it's the least requirement. Uh, you just don't know these, what you're... These are subsidized housing. This is subsidized housing. So the rent is based on the income... And and so they they want to know exactly who is living in that apartment. Yeah. Well, and if somebody comes to stay, they have a right to know if they're staying and how long they stay. It sounds like you don't even know what you're talking about. But anyway, I'm just calling to apologize for peeing on the doorknob. I urinated on the doorknob there in the office late last night. W- were you the first one in the office? Because if you were, I was. okay. Well, you you probably touched a bunch of pee on the doorknob. Well. When I find out who you are, you will be leaving here. Well, no, it does that that part doesn't matter. Like, can you just thank me for for apologizing? No, it The apology means nothing. Well, fuck you then. You know, I, I was just trying to do the right thing and and apologize. It's, now you're you're being exactly honest now, see. Well, no, I was being honest before. I I peed on the doorknob last night and I'm sorry. Uh, I feel bad. You're not being Asshole. honest. Dishonest person, you're living here illegally, and when I find you, I will be sure that you're thrown out. It's not illegal, it's just a dumb policy of the apartment complex. You can say whatever you want to, I will guarantee you I can enforce it by law. Well, you're just making up laws, you're just making things up. Not anything. Sounds like you are. 
Well, I don't care what it sounds like. I didn't make these rules. Yeah, yeah. You just enforce them. You're just like a Nazi. It's like you're. No, you, I'm. I'm not Hitler. I just enforce the rules. That's all. I'm just yeah. killing you because Hitler says so. That's 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 like what you are. You're like a wannabe Hitler. Mm. Oh shit! I hit a nerve. He hung up on me. I think he's gonna think things over and re-examine his life. He's gonna be like, you know what? He's gonna be like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be enforcing Soviet era rules. So I'm calling. Hello. Oh hi, is this the uh, the mobile home park? Yes, it is. Oh okay, I- I'm a tenant here. Uh huh. And um, I just needed to let you know. Um, I I feel kind of bad about this. I I wanted to apologize because last night I came over there and I-, I peed on the office door. I urinated on it. Okay. And uh, it seemed funny at the time. I was drinking, and yep, I'm just sorry about that. Okay, which door did you pee on? Um, the office door, the the one, you know, there where you are. Well, uh, unfortunately, right now we have three. Is it the maintenance crashes or on number 38? Oh, uh, 38. Okay. Yep, yep. Who I, is it? I just peed all over it. Well, I don't want to say because I don't really want to get in trouble. I just felt bad, and I don't know if you were the first one there, but you may want to wash your hands. Okay. Why did you do that? Uh, I was drinking, and it seemed funny uh-huh. at the time. Okay. Like we were just giggling and like, oh, she, she's going to like get pee on her hand in the morning. Tee hee. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. I will let her know. Thanks for calling. And it, it's not a big deal. Um, I don't have gonorrhea or anything. Well, it's it, disgusting it, and you're a grown man, so <laughs> you might, you know. Well, anyway. it'd, be okay. more, it'd be more disgusting if I had gonorrhea, but I don't. So you're welcome for that. All right. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. No problem. <laughs> You know, she's going to be eyeing everyone suspiciously from now on, trying to figure out which guy peed on her doorknob. And that one was a trailer park, by the way. This is another list of apocalypses. Uh, This is the older list that he sent me, I think, last month. And I've called every number on this list, but I'm calling early in the morning, and I seem to be getting more answers this time. But my plan is to uh, just delete all of these, this entire email, after today. They don't answer them. Thank you for calling property management. Throwing it away. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. Hi, this is Danielle. Hey, Danielle. I'm a tenant here. And, uh, Hi, what can I do for you? Um, well, I'm calling to apologize. Uh, I, I was out there around the office last night, and, and I urinated all over the doorknob. I mean, all over the door handle oh. there. Yep. So wh- whoever uh, okay. you know showed up first this morning probably got pee all over their hands. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I will let them know that you apologize for that. Okay, um, d- you weren't the first one there, were you? Are you the one that got pee all over your hands? No, it wasn't me. Oh, who was it? I don't know, I'll have to ask around. Uh, could you ask real quick? Because I'm hoping it's the person that, that I intended it for. Um, no, I'll have to ask. Not everybody's here. Oh, um, who all is there right now? I'd rather not say if you urinated on my door, you're not really someone that I want to give that information to um well could you put me on speakerphone i'm gonna apologize to the entire office real quick um everybody who's in my office is not here right now i know but i can i could apologize to most people i'm the only one that can hear ah uh, could you bring everyone in and have them gather around no they're on the phone or out of the office uh tell them to get off the phone well what time could i call and and you know just do this whole thing um i there's not going to be one time that you could do it. Darn it. Because we're all out at properties and doing different things. Ah. Darn. Okay. Well, I'm very sorry I, I peed on the doorknob. I was just drunk and it seemed funny at the time. Okay. Well, if you would like... Um, it was a lot of pee. I think you could get is to call and leave a voicemail. Uh, oh, no. You just pass along the message, please. That's too much work. Okay. I will. It was a lot of pee, by the way. It was just a, a massive, enormous amount of pee. Okay. I mean, it, it was Thank it, you. It was like Bye-bye. a it was like a horse, you know, just went on forever. This was an idea from the last show, by the way. In case you missed that one, Nico told me that I should start calling places and say I peed on their doorknobs, just like I used to do on those old pizza calls. And I'm trying to think of a place other than apartment buildings that I could call and say I peed on their doorknobs. Like, I guess I could do homeowners. Um, I don't know what else, though. Maybe, like, uh, service stations. Oh, wait, I know. How about those cash-for-gold places? Whoa, Whoa, holy crap. Hello? 
Hello? Oh, hi. Hi, who is this? I don't know. You called me. You, you masked your You masked your keypad with an open palm. Oh. Oh, shame on me. Yeah. Well, I, this is Greg from the telephone company. Hi, Greg from the telephone company. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing just peachy. Can I, can I patch a call through for you? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and give me the number. I'll put it through. <laughs> are you kidding? No. No, not at all. It's no problem at all. I do that? It's okay. Yeah, 208. 208- Five eight six six. Five eight six six. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that through. You have a good day. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Uh huh. Goodbye. Hi, you've reached Kim. Leave me a message and I'll call you back. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Kim. This is Sue. Give me a call. Hey, Thanks. Kim. Bye. This is Greg from the phone company. I'm here with Sue. <laughs> <laughs> that was just her answering machine. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, darn it. You okay, me, thank you. You want me to try her again? Want me to try anyone else? No. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, what what are you doing today? Where, where are you going? <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, well, listen, you have a good day. I got to go. Okay, you don't want to be patching any more calls through. I don't have anything better to do here. We're the phone company. No. Nobody uses phones anymore. Oh, I don't. Uh, this is crazy. Okay, well, now I'm just going to take this little crazy ditty and laugh about it today. See ya. Okay, bye, honey. <laughs> bye. Sweetie baby. <laughs> Cutie pie. Bye. So all of that was left on the answering machine. And I'm going to do a dial tone just in case she picks back up. We're going to sit here for a minute. And if she... Ah, there she goes. She's gone. That was interesting. That was an apartment building complex thing, an office. And she picked up right as I called and just started mashing keys. Kind of like this. The fingers you have used to dial are too fat. To obtain a special dialing wand, please mash the keypad with your palm now. See, she was trying to get one of those special dialing wand things. And damn it, now I want to call her back and do the whole apartment thing. Tell her I peed on her doorknob. Because, you know, I made her happy. I should be able to take that happy away with a little bit of pee on the doorknob. But I'm not going to do it. I'll just delete that one, I guess. I love that her friend's going to have that message on her machine, though. And by the way, would that have been illegal? Like, you guys, what what do you think? Because I'm patching a call through, but I'm sitting there and I'm listening to it. I'm basically wiretapping. Neither one of them know it. Yeah, that's got to be illegal. I'm sitting here recording it. It's probably best that nothing went through. All right, let's delete this one. You know, there was this really awesome story a few years ago where this guy figured out on Google Maps he could register any business name and just put his own phone number on it or a phone number that he set up to be the fake business. And people would search for his business and they would call his phone number. So what he did is he set up fake businesses called the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You know, the FBI in certain areas. And then the local police departments, they would need to get through to the FBI. They didn't have the number, so they would Google it. Google would give them the FBI number. They'd reach that guy and he'd be like, oh, sure, let me put you through to his office. And he would do exactly what I just did. He would three-way the call on and he would sit there and listen. And he wasn't doing it for any criminal purposes. He just wanted to see if he could do it. And once he figured out how easy it was, he started notifying the local police and the FBI and everything. He's like, LOL, look what I'm doing. I'm wiretapping the FBI. I thought that was pretty ingenious, but I wonder if he got in any trouble for that. Because he basically was wiretapping the FBI. Oh, this next one has uh, trees in front of the windows. So I might have to abandon the, the pee thing. Peeing on the doorknob thing and say something about their trees. I can't let Apocalypse's hard work go to waste here. Hello, we are not available Ah, shit. Sorry, Apocalypse. I'm deleting this one. It's the third time I've called it. Thank you for calling. This is Sue. Hey, Sue. I'm a tenant here at... And, yes. and um, I'm, I'm just calling to apologize. I, I was over there by the office last night, late last night, and I urinated all over the doorknob, like all over the door handle. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name's Roy. I'm a tenant here. 
So, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry Roy, about that. Wait it, a minute, Roy. Where are you a tenant? Here in the apartments. What number? Oh, well, I don't want to say that. I don't want to get in trouble or anything. I, I just Roy, feel bad because... I need to know, if you are a tenant, I need to know what number you're in because I don't have any tenants named Roy. Well, that's just my nickname. But look, the, the, point, of this, your name? the point of this call is that I'm, I'm calling to apologize for peeing all... I need all, to know who I'm talking to. Because I peed all over the doorknob last night. Who am I talking to? My name is Roy. I don't have anybody named Roy. Okay, who am well, I talking to? Well, that part doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just calling yes, to apologize. Why, I need to know who I'm talking to. Why are you getting an attitude with me? I'm, I'm just trying to do the right thing. I'm and trying to figure out who you are. Well, it doesn't and matter. I'm, tell me. I'm not calling for an That's apartment right. issue, lady. I'm just calling to apologize for pe- Oh, <laughs> she didn't like being called lady, I guess. I'm supposed to call her sir. Thank you for calling me. This is Sue. So, do you accept my apology? I don't know who you are. Well, I, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm calling you up to apologize. I feel bad about what I did. If you really feel and bad, you'll tell me who you are. I, I, everyone calls me Roy. Like, everyone. So, my name is Roy. Okay. okay, Roy. I don't have anybody who lives here with that name. Okay. So you're telling me you're an unauthorized tenant Maybe. in one of my units who is urinating, which is basically... Uh, causing problems on my property. Well, I didn't cause problems. I just urinated on the on the door handle. But Roy. Y- urine is actually sterile, and it probably made the door handle cleaner when you think about it. Well, then come lift the door handle. Uh, and I'm not into that. If that's your thing, I guess. One more call, Roy, and I will have the police come over Okay. And find well, you. I'm very sorry that I apologized to you. The nerve of me. What was I thinking? So that is officially the last apartment building on this list from Apocalypse. I still have the newer list, which has a ton of them in there. You know, really, I could just go over this entire list and do the same thing on every single one. But nah, they'll probably remember me from whatever I said to them last month. I think I'm going to try some other businesses, though. And um, I can't really think of any good ones except for those uh, cash payday check cashing places. You know, those sketchy paycheck advance loan places. Hey, this is Angela. Can I help you? Hey, Angela. Uh, this is Roy over at the Hardee's in the parking lot. Uh-huh. And I'm just calling. Uh, my manager said I had to uh, call and apologize to you. Apologize to me for what? Uh, well, because um, before you guys opened today, I, I went over there and I peed on the door handle. So I'm sorry about that. It was a lapse in judgment. It seemed funny at the time. And why would you do that? Uh, well, like I said, it was a lapse in judgment, and it seemed funny at the time. Are Are you the only one that's been there today? Because you might want to wash your hands. <laughs> I've already washed my hands. Trust me. Okay. Well, how would I know? I don't know if you wash your hands a lot. I was, I was just making a suggestion. That's all. But why would you do? Why would you do something so idiotic? That was really dumb. Well, I don't know. It, I, I, it was really, really funny at the time. Like my, we, we were over there on our smoke break, and my friend was over there with me, and I was I, I had to pee, and I didn't feel like walking back over to Hardy's because I was busy smoking. So uh, you, yeah, that's really stupid. You, you, you probably need to grow up, Summer. We're, right? we're just like Teehee. Whoever touches this doorknob is gonna get um, pee all over their hands. Yeah, that's real cute. Have a good day, you but, dumb hey, fuck. What? Hey, don't call me names. What? <laughs> oh, she called me a dumb fuck. Now I feel bad about myself. Looks like on this next one, they're in a shopping center, but none of the shopping center businesses have uh, signs out. Like, they're all filled up, but like there's no signs above them. There's one that has a broken sign. Looks like it might be a liquor store. Oh, but they wouldn't be open yet, would they? Darn it, here, let me look across the street. Wow, this place. <laughs> like a tattoo place, a pawn shop discount smokes and e-cigs and oh look another check cashing place what a pretty neighborhood money mark this is crystal hey crystal uh this is roy from the pawn shop over there in the shopping center you know right across right down um not really i'm filling in today oh okay (laughs) oh i see i'm sorry um well i just calling my manager said i had to uh call and apologize for what i did Uh uh-huh and, um, like, I, I was over there um, earlier, like, before you guys opened up, and I, I peed all over the door handle. So, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Mm. 
So who is this exactly that's pranking us? Because I had another store that's called and said that this is you guys have called her too. What? Why would she, what'd she say? Oh, I, I mean, I'm not going to go into details, but I don't know who you are. Well, why, is she, a business. why is she calling other stores to say, like, does she just, was she just tattling on me? Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. Because I went to like every payday loan place in the entire city and peed on the doorknob. Mm-hmm. You're real funny, sweetheart. Am I? Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, that lady from before tattled on me fast. I wonder if I should call up from the corporate office and have her give me a rundown of what happened. Be like, hello, I'm a completely different person. I'll do a laugh track mad on him. Thanks for calling anyone cash advance. It's Amanda. How can I help you? Hey, Amanda. Uh, this is Roy from over at the White Castle. Yeah. And uh, I'm calling to apologize. My manager said I needed to call you and apologize. Um, I, okay. I was over there um, earlier this morning before you opened up, and I peed all over the door handle on the front door. Oh, yeah? Yep. So, sorry about that. Okay. Um, the, if, you, if you're the one that opened the door, you might want to wash your hands. Okay. And um, just so you know, I haven't had uh, gonorrhea in, like, close to seven years now. That's awesome. Congratulations. Okay, well, I'm just letting you know so you don't think you're going to get gonorrhea or anything because that'd be gross. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I totally appreciate you letting me know. Yep, my my pee is perfectly clean and sterile. Awesome. Yep. There was a lot of okay. it, though. I mean, holy you crap. You and your pee have a great day. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Bye. We'll, we'll try. <laughs> Man, this store, this is one that, like, uh, I don't know, it's like giant dollar signs on the front. A1 cash advance. There's a big sign on the front door that says loans of up to $605. That's kind of a weird limit. Thank you for calling me one cash advance. How can I help you? Hi there. Uh, this is um, Steve Dave. I, I work nearby uh, over at the, the movie grill. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm just calling to let you know, uh, my, my manager said I had to apologize to you because I peed all over the doorknob this morning of, of your store there. Like right before you, really? op- yeah, right before you opened up, I went over there and just urinated all over the door handle. And well, I'm- that's good because I have a security guard that lets me in, so at least I didn't touch it. Oh well, like, does that mean like you're happy that the security guard got all over his hands? Because that's kind of a bitch move. <laughs> Isn't that what that sounded like? She's basically saying better him than me. That's what she's saying. Good evening, A1 Cash Advance. Holly speaking. Hi, Holly. Uh, this is Roy from the, the sub place next door. The sub place? Well, you know the Domino's, the Domino's Pizza? Oh, uh, further down the subdivision. Yeah, or, I mean, yeah. The, or, or the strip mall. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we sell subs now. That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, my manager said I had to call and apologize to you guys. Uh, well, I went over there this morning before you opened up, and I urinated all over the doorknob. It it just seemed funny at the time, and I don't know. I, I, I did it, and I'm sorry. All righty. Okay. I will let them know. Okay. Who's them? The owners. Oh, are they the ones that would have touched the doorknob this morning? I mean, the door handle? Well, probably everybody's touched the door handle. Ew, gross. Do you think you yeah. t- do you think you touched it? I I would have no idea. Hmm. Probably though. I mean, unless somebody o- held the door open for you, you've probably got urine on your hands. Okay. Is this is this a joke? Because I really don't have time for it. Oh no! I'm at work. No, no I, I wouldn't joke about something like this. My manager uh, he heard me bragging about it to the other employees, and he insisted that I call and apologize. He's here in the office. Okay, and this is the Domino's down the strip mall? Yeah, yeah, just a few few doors down. Okay, well, the owner's here now, so he, I will let him know. I'm not sure if he's going to want to take a walk down there or not. Oh, no, he didn't have to do that. There's no reason for that, because I called and apologized. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Hey, what do you need? Uh, I'm, I'm calling from the Domino's down the strip mall. I just, my manager said I needed to call and apologize for, uh, I urinated on the door handle there this morning. On what door handle? Uh, on the one at your store, like the one that you have to open to... Uh... Okay, you're, you're down there right now? Yeah, did you just now come in? No. 
Oh, okay. I was going to say, you, you might want to wash your hands again because there's urine all over them now. I'll be down in a second. Oh, no, no. You don't have to come down. I'm just... Oh, crap. I better call the Domino's and let them know. Oh, and it's just ringing. They're probably not even open yet. So he's going to go over there and nobody's going to be there. He's going to think they're hiding in the back because they're scared. Yep. No answer. No machine. No nothing when you call Domino's before they open. I think they'd be open by now, though. It's like 3 o'clock over there. Maybe that's what I should be calling. I should be calling up Domino's and telling them I peed on their doorknobs. Oh, here's one where... Kathy's. Hi there. Uh, this is Roy. I work over at the mattress place, you know, a couple doors okay. down. Okay. And, um, uh, well, my, my uh, manager, he said I needed to call and apologize because I, I came over there this morning and I urinated all over the front door, door handle. You did? Yeah, and, um, you know, I, I realize now I shouldn't have done that because I got caught. So I'm sorry about that. On our that. front door handle? Yeah, yeah, like all over the door handles. Back and front, just all over the door handles. Um, can I ask why? Uh, well, it just seemed funny at the time. I, I thought you guys would, you know, come come in there in the morning and open up and you'd have my urine all over your hands. <laughs> See? It, it is funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not the one that opened this morning. Miss Kathy was. <laughs> oh, is she? Is, is she? Is she around? I'll I'll tell her that I did it and apologize. Uh, yeah, that would. Um, no, she's not. Okay. But I, I will definitely let her know. And thank you. I will close. I will definitely go and clean the door handle off. Oh now. yeah, you're gonna want to clean it really good because I mean I peed a lot. Like I I peed so much. I I didn't know I could pee that much. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Well, thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Uh, just so you know, I don't have gonorrhea or anything. It's been years since I had anything like that. <laughs> Is this a prank call? No, no. I, I wouldn't <laughs> joke, ma'am. I, I just, my manager, he heard me bragging about it to everybody else. So he insisted that I call up and apologize. When did you do this? Uh, early this morning, like around, I don't know, nine in the morning, maybe. It's when I first got to work. Oh, okay. Well, uh, good prank. Yeah, thanks. Um, I did it. But I did it at the um, at the uh, the the you know the wrecking place too next door to you. Oh well, you might need to call him and let him know. You think? Like, do you think he'll get mad? He, well, I hope not. Um, he might be upset, but calling and letting him know would be even a better idea. Yeah. Hey, do you want to call? Um, you want to call Kathy? If you give me your number, I can put it on three way, and, and you know I can apologize to her. Um, no. Um, I'll just let her know. Oh, but it'd be more funny if if I could, like. Ha- how about this? We won't tell her that you gave me the number or that you're on the phone, and you can just put it on mute and laugh while I piss her off. No, no. Um, I don't take enjoyment of pissing my boss off. I actually like her. Well, you thought it was so. funny that she got urine all over her hands. Yeah, it, it is, but it's not going to be funny whenever she finds out. Well, it will to me. But that's beside the point. <sighs> All right. You, you sure? <laughs> like, can you just give me yeah. your number? I won't tell her where I got it. No, um, I can't give you her number, but uh, if you uh, need to speak to her, her, she will probably be back around in the morning time. Okay. And and uh, just call back again then, or I'll just let her know. Hey, tell her when, when she gets here tomorrow morning, tell her to sniff the, the door handle just to be safe. No, I'm going to clean the door handle, like, right now. I know, but what if I do it again? You should tell, you should tell her you that. You shouldn't do it again, no, I pro- ever. I probably won't. In my, your whole life. I, I, no, I won't, because my, my manager's really angry at me. He's talking about firing me. Yeah, um... He's really uptight. Well, that, that's, yeah, you should definitely take that in consideration um, and never do that again. Okay. Because she probably will come over there and uh, have Wallop some words. Yeah, yeah. With your manager. Yeah. Um, I don't want that. It, it's funny to me, but I'm not the one that's touched the door handle at all today. Well, are you sure? Like, how'd you get in? Did someone hold the door open for the you? The back door. Oh, darn it. Yeah. So... 
Ha! Shit. But... <laughs> oh, wait. Speaking of so, shit, I, I pooped on the back door handle. Yeah, there was no possible way of you doing that. No, I smeared it. I, I, I took it and I smeared it all over. I re- yeah, I really there was no possible way of you doing that. Why? It's, it was a really thin layer. Because I was back there at 9. Uh, no, I, I maybe I came at 8. I, like, I take long poops, so the poop started at 8. Yeah, I was here at, the, at 8.30. Uh, see? See? The poop started at 8. And then, and then I came around front so. to pee on the door, the front door. Yeah, I highly doubt that that's possible. Yeah, I'm just kidding um, about all that. Thank you so much. Uh, have a wonderful day. Oh, uh, you too. Um, if you ever need a burger, let me know. Okay. Uh, and bye. Thanks. I'm going to call up the record place next door now. Really wish we could have talked to Kathy, though. I'm sorry, but the person you called... Has Aww, a- the auto shop's not picking up. I don't know. I think I was getting my best results whenever I called apartment buildings. Maybe I should finish up the show with a few more of those. I don't want to use up Apocalypse's entire list on this, but maybe I could just call up a few more of them and see if they have a sense of humor about my hilarious prank. Thank you for calling. This is Deborah. How may I help you? Hi, Deborah. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here. And uh, hi. Hi there. Uh, I'm just calling to apologize. Uh, I, I was o- around the office there late last night, and I urinated all over the door handle. And... I don't know. I just, I, I felt kind of bad about it. I'm sorry about that. What is your name? Uh, my name is Roy. And where do you live? Uh, here at Lightning Creek Apartments. What apartment? Uh, well, I don't think that matters. I'm, I'm just calling to let you know that I urinated all over the door handle. And you guys <laughs> might want to... Oh, <laughs> what? I, I assume that means she does not accept my apology. Thank you for choosing apartment homes. You have... Re- and now she's not picking up... At least this is one that I couldn't get through to before. Like, I'd called it two times and they wouldn't pick up. Same on this next one, so hopefully they'll pick up. I won't feel like I'm just wasting all of the apartment numbers. This is Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here. Hey, you are? Okay. Yeah. And, what apartment do you live in, Roy? Uh, 22. And uh, I'm just calling to, uh, to apologize. Uh, I, I, I came over there late last night and I urinated all over the front door handle uh, of the office. Okay. And so, yeah, I feel kind of bad about that now that now that I've sobered up. So, sorry about that. I, so, I, what is your name on the lease, Roy? Oh, well, I'm not on the lease. So, who do you live with in apartment 22? Oh, I'd rather not say. You know, I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I'm, I'm just calling to apologize because I urinated all over the door handle. And, Roy, what's your last name? Uh, well, why do you need that? I'm not even on the lease. Well, uh, you need to be on the lease, Roy, so come on over and let's meet and let's get you on the lease. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to be here much longer. I, I'm, I just wanted to... Uh, do you ap- even know who lives in apartment 22, Roy? Of course I do. Well, you think I'm just like living there secretly? Well, I don't know. Sounds like it. Well, not really if I'm walking around urinating on the office door handles. It's not that secret. Well, I'll just go ahead and call my tenant in 42 and 22 and talk to her about it then. How come? Why wouldn't I? I don't know, because I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm apologizing for urinating on the door handles. What else do you want? Well, if you were going to do the right thing, Roy, you'd come on over and clean the door handle, wouldn't you? Uh, well, no, I don't want to do that. I don't feel like it. I'm hungover today, and I have better things to do. Then you really aren't doing the right thing, Roy. Let's just clear the air. Okay, well, are, are you going to at least accept my apology? Because I apologize. No, not really, because uh, you're not being truthful, because you're not telling me who you live with, and you're not, tell- you're not coming over and really making it right. Well, th- I'm making a phone call, so I don't have to walk over. It's the 21st mm-hmm. century. Uh, come on. Where, Be- where do you live from my office? And maybe you were using a different office. Well, look, you don't have to be a bitch about it. I'm just, you know, I'm just apologizing, just doing the right thing. That's all. I'll just report your call as a harassment call. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, this is major harassment where I'm calling and apologizing. Well, I don't even think you're on the same property as where I am, Roy. Then why are you going to bother anyone with a harassment call? 
Well, you're the one that's calling me to harass me, and I don't understand what this is about. I'm not harassing you. I'm apologizing. Like, don't you know what an apology is? And I'm telling you, there's nobody that lives in apartment 22 that you're living with, Roy. Oh, you don't know anything. You don't know anything about the people in 22. I think I do. I think you're wrong about apartment 22. Oh, maybe it's another apartment, well, but it's not that apartment. Maybe I gave you the wrong apartment number because I don't want to get the people in trouble that I live with. Perhaps you did. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Probably. Yeah. So, it, see, you're not doing the right thing still since you're lying about things. Well, you're being a total bitch about this entire thing. I was just calling to apologize, and you won't even accept my apology. Mm -hmm. You're kind of a jerk. Well, you're, you're, you want me to be the bad person here, but you're not really making things right, and you're lying like, about a lot of things. Like, so you, like you've I never don't know urinated. I that puts you in the light of doing the right thing, Roy. Like you've, ever, like you've never urinated on a door handle. That would be correct. Like back in your crazy college days, I bet you did. Uh, that would be incorrect. Oh, yeah, right. Whatever. Well, anyway, you probably want to wash your hands. And, and while you're at it, why don't you clean those doors, those front door handles for me? Because they've got urine on them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I didn't see any spots going down them, so I guess it's all right. And you know what? If somebody, if you contaminate, you know, I probably could go ahead and call the detectives and have them come out and take DNA off of it and everything yeah, if well, I really need to. Yeah, that, that, that won't do any good because my DNA is not on file anywhere, stupid. Yeah, whatever. You're, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. You're stupider. <laughs> whatever. We're going to have detectives come over and get DNA from my urine. Yeah, right. Thank you for calling. This is Catherine. How may I help you? Hi, Catherine. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here at Parkview. Uh-huh. And I'm calling to apologize. Uh, I, I came over there late last night, and I urinated on the door handle of the office. You did? Yep. So I'm really sorry about that. It seemed funny at the time, but I now realize maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay. What's your apartment number? Um, well, what do you need that for? Uh, well, you're a resident here, so just trying to decipher where it is that you reside. Yeah, but I don't I don't really need anything done in my apartment. I was just calling to apologize. I understand. Why would you urinate on the office door? Uh, well, I was drinking last night, and uh, I was hanging out with my roommate, and we were just, we were snooping around the, the office area, around the back and the sides, and I don't know, it just seemed funny at the time. We decided to urinate on the doorknob on, on the door handle i mean so if have you touched the door handle today no i sure haven't oh that's good okay yeah you just have some servant that follows you around and opens doors for you mm, no um what is your last name roy uh it's Zerbel. We don't have a resident here by that name what is your roommate's name why well, wouldn't be on the lease so nice try <laughs> You're not on the lease here? No. Okay. Um, I'm not allowed to get apartments in the state of Oklahoma anymore. Not since the oh, incident. Well, what incident is that? I'm, I've, I've been asked not to talk about it by my attorney. Okay. W well, then you probably don't belong on my property. Okay. Well, no, so, I'm not doing anything wrong. It was just we just got a little crazy last night with the alcohol. That's all. Well, what, what, you don't urinating drink? on the door handle is, is definitely um, wrong, I know. whether you believe it is or not. No, well, no, of course uh, I believe it. That's why I'm calling to apologize. Well, obviously you're calling to apologize, so it has to be wrong. Right, right. I realize that so, now, so you're welcome. I appreciate your apology. Uh, what time would you say this was that this happened? Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, late last night, like maybe like, I don't know, four in the morning. Okay, really so I'll be able to watch it on the video? Uh, probably not. I wear one of those um, those anti-paparazzi hats. It has uh, infrared LEDs all around my face. Oh, so okay. if, you, if you try to view me on a camera, it's just a, a white light. It looks like I'm God or something. Oh, my. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, I will check out the video and... Looks uh, like my face is going go supernova. There. It's like a supernova. Okay. Yep. In my face. Well, I appreciate you calling and letting us know, Roy. Okay. Well, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. You know, I'm just calling to do the right thing. 
Well, and, I didn't think that I was being a jerk at all. Well, you're kind of being professional. You're kind of being Miss Attitude over there. Well, well, you did pee on my door handle, which is a little concerning. Yep, but I did apologize for it, so you're welcome. Well, apologies don't always make things right. Well, why don't you just say apology accepted? That's what Jesus would do. Well, um, regardless of what Jesus would do or not, apology is not accepted because you urinated on our. Oh no! You know, handle. you know what? You don't even know how to speak right. The correct term is irregardless. Just act. Oh, thank infected. you for correcting me. You big dummy. Well, we appreciate you calling. Have a great day. Well, who's we? Is someone else there, or do you just okay? <laughs> Miss schizophrenic over there. I'm going to call up just a couple more apartment numbers. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm basically done with this. I'm done with the show thing. It's time to do some voicemails. But I want to do just like one or two apartment calls that are not, you know, I peed all over your doorknob. Thank you for calling the apartments. How can I help you? Hello, uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here at Ever- yes. Apartments. And uh, I just, uh, I was wondering if you guys might have any red paint over there. Red paint? Yeah, red, red uh, outdoor paint that works on shingles. Um, well, I have to ask my manager. I just don't know if we have red paint. What apartment are you in? My apartment? Um, okay, well, you're going to have to write this down. Uh, do you have some paper? Yes. Okay, um, write this down. X equals 47. That's uh, your apartment number? Yeah, no, no, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Line number one, X equals 47. Uh Uh-huh, okay. All right, next line. Yep, next line, Y equals 33. Sorry, this is a a complicated thing Apocalypse is making me do. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, next line, Z equals 26. Uh Uh-huh, okay. Okay, now on the next line, write X plus Y plus Z equals. Okay. All right, now um, do you have a calculator? Or you could just do it by hand. Yeah, I do have a calculator. Okay, uh, add those three together. So it's 116? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. So your name, what is your name? Uh, What name do you show? No, what is your name? Roy. No, that's not in the list. Uh-oh, maybe you did the math equation wrong. Okay, so... um. Did you use a calculator or did you do it like longhand? I used a calculator. Yeah, and addition's hard. Well, yeah, so um, if you're not able to give me the information, I'm not able to help you, okay? Oh, no, no, I just, um, I'm painting a Confederate flag on the roof right above my apartment building. Mm-hmm. And I just ran out of red paint, and I was hoping you guys might have some red paint. Well, that's the issue. Um, okay, um, I'm going to hang up right now, okay? How come? Why are because you? I just don't know what you're doing right now. Oh, I'm painting. So I, cannot, I cannot help you. I'm painting the roof with a paintbrush. I'm painting the shingles on the roof above my apartment. Okay, so... If I don't know what is your apartment number, then I cannot help you. Oh, no, I gave it to you. Uh, X equals 47, Y equals 33, Z equals 26. Okay. Um, well, if you need something else, just give us a call, okay? Okay. Or call the manager or come to the office. <sighs> All right? Okay, have fine. You're, you're <sighs> well, I can't believe she actually did the math equation, and I think she got the wrong answer. Because according to Apocalypse, the answer would have been 106, but she said 116. So either Apocalypse or that lady is really dumb. Not sure which one. Probably Apocalypse. On this next one, you got to figure out the square root of something. This is Melissa. How can I help? Hey, Melissa. I'm a tenant here. My name is Roy. I just have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, I was wondering if you guys might have any uh, red paint there that uh, maybe I could use, like outdoor paint that works on shingles. Red door paint. Yeah. Um, not to my knowledge. Huh, okay. I guess I'll just run to the hardware store to finish this up. I'm painting a uh, Confederate flag on the roof on the shingles. Oh. Just to make a statement, you know. Okay. 
it's above my apartment unit so if, if you see that you know just so you know it's it's okay i put it there all righty um hmm. i just ran out of red paint i i got all the white done but now i have to do the red around the white okay all righty um yeah i i don't think that we have any red here I know that we have, like, brown. Oh, no, brown won't work. This is a Confederate flag that I'm painting on the apartment roof. Okay, and um, did you get permission from the uh, owner to do that? Oh, no, no, it's okay, because it's right above my apartment. It's just on my portion of the roof. I made sure not to go over on onto the next-door neighbors. Okay. Alrighty. I, I, um, I painted it so that um, my satellite dish is directly in the middle of it. So it's got stars, uh, you know, in an X, and the satellite dish is right in the middle. It's pretty cool looking, the satellite okay. dish that I have on my uh, roof. What what address are you on? Uh, I'm uh, apartment 4630. 4630. Yeah, yeah. And I know I'm on the first floor, but it's okay because it's still my roof, I think. Yeah, I I just wanted to to know where it was, so I wasn't surprised when I saw it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's just a Confederate flag. Okay. I'm I'm making a political statement. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna do like a mural of uh, President Trump on the side. Next. Uh. Okay. Um. So I might be able to use yeah. the brown for that. I can mix it up with other colors to make orange and stuff. Okay, um, what, oh boy, you're, huh, hmm. 4630. So maybe I'll come by and get that brown from you eventually. Is that brown, is it good for uh, outdoor painting on vinyl siding? Or bricks? Whatever this or place is. Bricks? Well, you know, uh, no, I'm just saying, you know, is it good for outdoors? It's not going to fade, is it? Because I want it to last at least a year. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be um, guaranteed a year, okay. but well, uh, we use it on our siding. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's fine then. Okay. Okay, great. All righty. Um, do you have any ideas what I could paint on the front of the roof? I'm only doing one side of the roof with the Confederate flag. I think I might just do a second Confederate flag on the other side of the roof. Well, um, hmm. this is just, this is just really new to me, uh -huh. um, because from what I know, we need to have every single apartment look the same on the outside. Yeah, well, it does. Just, except for the roof. The roof has a giant Confederate flag on the top of it that's as big as my entire roof. I, I just painted it. It's not completely done. There's a little bit of red missing. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head to the hardware store in a little bit and get some more red shingle paint. Okay. And I think I'm going to mount another satellite dish on the front of the apartment above, above my apartment. Right. Also, and put it right in the middle of the X again. Okay. Because um, it'll look cool. You, all right. According to our rules, um, we're not <laughs> supposed to have dishes. Rules. Out. Rules. It's cool, though. Like, you can barely even see the dish because the Confederate flag kind of masks it. It camouflages it. Because it's right in the center. It just looks like it's part of the mural on my roof that I painted on the shingles. Okay, I'm I, I'm sorry. I'm just having a very hard time. Um, okay, all right. A hard time what? Um, understanding exactly. Um, y you live in forty-seven thirty, right? Yep. Uh huh. Yep, the one with the big Confederate flag painted on the top. On okay. the back side, though, you probably can't see it from there. Not until I paint the second one on the front side. All right, and and you didn't get any 
okay from the manager or nah i figured they'd say no i was gonna offer to paint confederate flags for other residents here on the top of their roofs but you know just for a small fee to cover the painting the i mean the paint okay um all right what i'm gonna do is uh okay and i'm gonna mount satellite dishes for them too if they want that is that is not something that we can do oh okay well uh, i'll just keep the ones on my roof then i won't do other people's we we go through either comcast or frontier oh, for well, our building i'm not using my my satellite dish for uh television i've hooked it up to my computer and i'm sending uh signals into space high power microwave beams Okay. It's just um, some. I, I'm. I don't know. I like to hack into foreign satellites and stuff. It's not a big deal. Uh huh. Okay. Well, um, is there anything that I can do for you other than the paint? Uh no, no. I was just hoping for some red paint so I didn't have to ride my bicycle all the way to the hardware store but it's cool you know i i could use some I, I need to get out and get some air anyway been huffing these paint fumes all day while i've been painting on the roof oh okay all right well um i will just talk to you later then okay okay oh incidentally um i i should probably apologize at this point because um late last night i was out there around the office and i urinated on the door handle of the front door of the office. I was drinking and uh, it seemed funny at the time, but I'm really sorry if you okay. got urine. I, I'm going to hang up with you now. Why? <laughs> Finally. How many more crazy things that I have to tell her to get her to hang up on me? But I bet she's still, she's going to walk around the apartments and she's going to look up on all the roofs just to make sure there's no Confederate flags painted anywhere. And I bet you every phone call she ever gets from this point forward is going to be super easy for her to deal with after all that. So you're welcome, apartment front desk girl, for helping to train you a little bit better on how to deal with tweakers. Hey, RB. It's Mr. Potato Head. Hey, Mr. Potato Head. One of my reoccurring fantasies is that I'm accident is that you accidentally prank called me. Ah, like yeah. Because I'm like a member of an HOA. Oh, shit. And there's a couple other ways it could happen. Why don't you submit your directory? I'll make you the final boss. Bye. You have my phone number because I call you all the time. Oh, shit. Now, is there... Do you have a nope, way... No, I cannot cross-reference. I, I would not notice. That you would, like... Like, say, randomly, you, you got a hold, a hold of a list of uh, the members of my HOA and you started calling us and you got to me. Would you have a way to be like, Oh! Nope. The computer just told me this guy's number called me all the you time. You could he's, totally fool me. I would never have any idea. He's a fan. I can't prank him. Yep. Because that would be awful. No, but, um, that won't happen. I'm hoping not because I'm still hoping to get pranked by you one day. Although now I'm starting to think maybe I should start cross-referencing every submitted number with every number in the voicemails. Because holy crap, during Ding Timber, you guys, you guys are always trying to fool me. Acting like I dinged your car. And on the car dings, I would always type the number into the Google Voice thing. And I, I would see that they'd called last year, too. So please don't do that. People do that occasionally. It sucks. It's annoying. Waste my damn time. Hey, Brad. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to do my job here. I shouldn't have to put up with this. Crimson, this is my obligatory voicemail to complain that you're not, you know, not hosting the uh, Cumber uh, series of calls this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but in all seriousness, um, can you explain a little bit more, like, uh, in detail why you made the decision not to be the primary person making team calls? Because last year, if you recall, uh, you... You see, I'm using my legal jargon. Don't you notice? Uh, don't you recall? Um, don't you yeah. recall? You were saying That's that totally you were going a to talk to a lawyer once you lawyered up with this whole legal situation and actually ask him legally, you know, what kind of situation you'd be in. Yep. And, I'd like uh, to do yeah. that. You know, did you talk to a lawyer? Did you keep your promise on this at least, Brad? You know, I have been a little busy over the past year with my current legal situation 
And I think I've said enough times now that that's the reason I'm not doing Ding Timber this year. It just seems like a bad idea. But once I'm done with all of this stuff, I definitely do want to talk to a lawyer. I've been compiling a list of questions that I should ask him about, you know, different prank call situations. And I don't know if I'll use my current attorney. Maybe I'll find someone that's a bit cheaper. Or maybe I'll just hire a paralegal or something. That'd probably be cheap, wouldn't it? Because I think that would be awesome for the entire prank call community to have, like, written down, like, a list of all of the things that you shouldn't do and that you can do. Kind of like an extension to the list of rules on phonelosers.org slash rules. So it's definitely going to happen. It just kind of got pushed back a little bit because of my legal problems right now. Hey, Brad. Long time fan. First time caller. I have sent you an email. It has a church directory in it, but it has a fuck ton of churches from, like, northern Alabama. I think you should do a, a show, like a Sunday show sometime. Okay. Like a morning show. I'll try to remember that. All right, hugs and kisses. All right, bye. Thanks for leaving me a voicemail to let me know that you left an email. That makes sense. Oh, hey, and I forgot to tell you that there is another eclipse in like seven years. So if you're still alive and the world isn't, yeah, you know, unlikely. gone to shit, you can do that. Okay. Also play Dogs Are Weird by uh, Emergency you know Pizza who. Party. I forgot the name. Those people. Right. Yep. Bye. Bye. You hear that, everyone? Seven more years and I can do some of those eclipse calls. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Yep. The roof. I think this is a prank call suggestion. The roof is on fire. My kid's fidget spinner flew up in the air, set the roof on fire. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. Good idea. I'll write that down. Hey, Brad. uh, I'm enjoying the old-timey phone commercials that you're playing during the show. Me too. Is there anywhere to get a zip file of just all those sound bites? Mm, Uh, No. That's Not one really. question. The other is, I know you said you do a little um, investigative work for, for money. Um, I'd like to hear an example call like that during the show. I know it's probably similar to some of the other calls, but yeah. show us what you do to uh, pay would, the bills. All right, bye. Well, that's what I used to do. Now I'm just making shows for you people. But I don't know. That could be fun. Maybe I'll do that on a show someday. I mean, basically, I would just call up uh, telephone companies and tell them I peed on their door handles. And I'd be like, oh, by the way, can you pull up this account for me? It worked like a charm. Hey, Steve, Dave, Roy, Brad. Um, This is Ohio Guy. I haven't called in for a little while. I usually only call if I feel like I have something important to say. That's nice. And so I just wanted to say uh, an idea for some an upcoming show, something that you've done before that I always think is kind of funny. Um and you haven't done recently, when you get put on hold by somebody or there's somebody who refuses to hang up or for whatever reason, that line is still open, you've recently just kind of been hanging up um, if it just goes on and on. But I think sometimes it's really funny just to allow that to continue on and you just start making your next call. And so say you're on hold, just start making your next call. And uh, then when the person comes back from being on hold after however long it is, a half hour, sometimes those stupid things last forever, but then you got two people on the phone who are super confused, and then you can keep talking to them, or yep. you can just mute your mind. You know, the best part is when they start tattling on me to the second person that I'm calling. They're like, hey, he's not a real person. He's a prank caller. And allow them to just talk to each other super confused. So sometimes I think that's really funny to do, and I uh, just wanted to remind you of that little tactic there. Yeah. You seem to have forgotten. I'll so try to do I that. See you later. More often. Bye. Bye. Oh, sorry. No echo for you. That was pretty awesome earlier today in the show, wasn't it? Where I got to pretend to be an operator and I put that lady's call through. That would have been epic if that lady picked up and they they sat there and talked to each other and I could just fuck with their call, play sound effects at them or whatever. This message is for Roy. This is the only Walmart Photo Center. You've got two canvases that have been here since um, 8th or August 7th. Ah, shit. Uh, we usually keep time. them 30 days. Your 30-day mark is going to be coming up here shortly if you're still interested in these pictures. Please give us a phone. All right. Call at I'm 716. Better call her, I guess. Walmart Photo Center. This is Donna. Hi, Donna. Uh, I have some canvas photos there, I think, that might be ready to pick up. I, I just wanted to make sure they were ready. And your last name? Gerbel. Gerbel? Uh-huh. G-E-R-B-I-L. I'm not showing anything. Let me see. Oh, they, it, it might be it, it, it might be Roy Carter. Um, it's canvas stuff. Oh, Carter. Yeah, I have Carter's here. Okay. Yep. That's yep. the one. Okay. Which pictures are yep, those? They've been ready for a while. Uh, which, which pictures are those? Like, what's on the photos? 
Uh, it's okay. You can I don't open know it. What, I don't know what the one is. It looks like an old man. Ah, the face of an old man. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's yeah. a commercial copyrighted picture that I got oh, off of okay. a professional website, and you know they wanted like uh, sixty eight dollars to have it printed. So I'm just printing okay. it. I'm just printing it there so instead. So that is a professional photo. Yeah, just don't tell anyone. And the other. W- well, I can't let you have it then. No, sh- we- stop it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I will worry about it unless I have a release form. Uh, I'll, yeah. Okay. So, like, um, I'll just. What's uh, the other one? Is the other one Big Bird or something? Or not Big Bird? Uh, I don't know what that is. What does it look like? What color is it? Some kind of red thing. Uh, is it Elmo? I can't tell too good. Huh? Is it Elmo? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you guys charge way too much for those Elmo posters. So I just thought I'd put one on canvas, and you know I'll I'll just pay for it that way. That way it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, so are you coming to get these today? Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm going to get my uh, Elmo and my copyrighted old man. Saving. Okay. I'm, I'm saving like fifty three dollars on that by not buying it from the person that created it. It's going to be awesome. Okay. You coming in now or? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Why? Are you going to try okay. and deny me when I when I try and pick uh, them up? Y- yes, I am. Okay. You told me they were professional. You got them on a website. Well, no, the Elmo, the Elmo is not professional. You know, I just took that the off. Elmo of, is a. Yeah, but the, you can't reproduce cartoons or anything. Well, like El- Elmo is not a cartoon. He's a puppet. I know he is. Well, you said he's a cartoon. Well, he's a kind of a cartoon thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, um, actually not at all. Nope. He's a puppet. He's a Muppet. Okay. All right. So we'll see you shortly then. Well, why? You're not even going to let me have him. Why should I come there and get him? Well, I didn't know if you still wanted to pursue getting them or what, because you told me they were professional and I'd have to... Uh, well, they are. To a, I right, mean... You com- can't... Yeah, Elmo's owned by Sesame Street. Right, and that's a copyrighted site. Yeah, but look, I'm I'm just going to slip you 20 bucks and, you know... No, you're not. Wink, wink. Because my job's more important than $20. Well, yeah, but, you know, who's going to know? I won't tell anyone. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have you, cameras all around me. Yeah, but they're not going to know what's going on. I'll, I'll just, I'll come over and I'll shake your hand and I'll just kind of have a $20 bill in there and you just kind of take it and uh, pay for my photos. I'm I'm still coming out ahead because I didn't have to pay for that old man picture. Like sixty eight. You're coming out ahead, but I won't come out ahead if I lose my job and oh, get arrested and pay seven thousand dollars. Oh, they're not gonna arrest you. you. Don't don't be silly. The the police have better things to do than bother with Elmo copyrighted photos. It's cool. Okay, I will leave a note here for my associate because I don't know if I'll be here. Okay, um because okay, I'm leaving for oh, lunch. What time are you leaving for lunch? I should probably come uh, during that point so I don't have to slip anyone a 20. Uh, probably in about 10 minutes. I'm oh, okay. Later. Okay, I'm going to jump in my car and, and rush over there so so you won't be there. Okay. And I can, I can get my bargains from, you know, someone who understands capitalism and isn't afraid to make a little bit extra money. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a Bye-bye. nice day. Enjoy your lunch. Well, there we go. That was from the original batch of funny old man photos and Elmo. Oh, I should have asked her if there was a rape joke on the Elmo part. I forgot to do that. Before we get going, I'm going to play a prank call by somebody else. This is the part of the show where I play prank calls by somebody else. And it looks like I have a few old ones in here. I found some really old ones where the links that they sent me didn't even work anymore. Actually, one of them was by Rev, but Rev sent me this other one here, which is still on the internet. And he says, I pranked my old boss, the one I told you about. I pranked her by using the website prankdial.com. Since I don't have to sign up for anything and I get three free prank calls a day, I thought it turned out pretty good. And prank dial is the thing where basically it calls up people and it plays a recording for them, like a one-sided recording. So that's what you're going to hear on here, I guess. He wins. Hi. Do you guys have any toilet paper? What? Toilet paper. I need some right now. Who is this? Is this a joke or something? Well, I'm just asking you to bring some over. Why would it be a joke? Who are you? Wait. This isn't Ronnie? No. 
Oh, Lord, I am so sorry. I I haven't spoken to anyone in such a long time. Please stay alive with me. I don't want to lose anyone. Wow. Just hangs right up on that poor old lady needing toilet paper. Thanks for sending that one in, Rev. That one was kind of short, so let's play one more prank. This is by someone named Holden Martins Johnson. Oh, I get it now, now that I say it out loud. Uh, Holden says, Hey Brad, I heard you whining on the the last Snowplow show about how you hadn't had any listener-submitted pranks in a while. So here's a call I made in November where I tell a guy he's one of the bottom 100 Twitter users in the world and he'll need to go to Salinas to take an 8-hour remedial course to get his DMs turned back on. That sounds like it could possibly be hilarious, so let's listen. Hey, what up? Hey, is this uh, Lancelot Santiago? Yes. Yeah, this is uh, Jack from uh, Twitter Support Calling. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, man. Why would he lie? Yeah. We... Release. Oh, go ahead. So, um, like, my Twitter... Um, Direct messages aren't working. I can't send any um, direct messages. Aw, poor guy. No, no direct messages at all. Yeah, that's that's uh, intentional. Uh, yeah, we've uh, looked at your Twitter account, and uh, it, we've noticed that you don't really know how to use Twitter, and uh, we need you to take a short eight-hour class uh, before we can re-enable your DMs. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's a really short class, just just eight hours. Uh, you know, it's a short drive uh, down to uh, uh, Salinas. Uh, Salinas is uh, probably the closest uh, Twitter retraining center to you. And uh, yeah, uh, no, it's pronounced Salinas. We're just going to need you to take that class. You're totally wrong. Uh, you can sign up on uh, on class.twitter.com. And uh, once you once you take that eight hour course and uh, pass the final exam, you'll be able to re-enable your DMs. So I don't have to um, actually go to a physical location, right? I can just do it all online. Oh no, no! Uh, you're you're definitely going to have to drive down to Salinas. Uh, you you can enroll online though. Um, you know, just get signed up and uh, schedule schedule the time that's uh, best for you. Just something that we're doing to to really improve the quality of the platform. That's a good idea. So what if I can't do that? Well, I, you'll have to figure something else out, I guess. No DMs okay, for you. Right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you, and have a oh, wonderful week. Why was my account locked? Oh, uh, it's because you're just really bad at using Twitter. Just, just terrible at using Twitter. You're one of the bottom 100 posters on Twitter right now. Uh huh. Yeah, it's 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 just awful. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I so. Appreciate it. Anyways, I want to wish you a happy Pranksgiving. And I know. <laughs> and Aww, uh, he knows it's a prank. Go to fuck them, bro. What's that? Yeah, you, you had me thinking that I had to go to fucking Salinas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost forgot I tweeted that. I was like, oh shit, is this real? <laughs> well, well, I hope you I hope you enjoyed the prank and uh, you know, I'll let you get I'm back. Because I, I was like, I need to take an eight hour class. And I We're was getting like, a recap, you guys. Hey, is it because of my DMs? Like, I got some pretty... I got some pretty intense DMs up in okay, there. Okay, so it looks like, like that's like half of the prank. And the rest of it is just going to be the guy saying, oh, that was such a funny prank you just did to me. So I'm just going to stop playing it right there. Thank you, Holden Martins Johnson, for sending that one in. It's kind of weird that you have a hyphenated last name. That's the end of today's show. Thank you, Fun Society Arcade, for sponsoring the show today. And thanks, Apocalypse, for uh, supplying quite a few of the numbers I called today from the apartment lists that you're always sending me. Don't forget to go to phonelosers.org slash buttons and buy the last of the PLA buttons that you'll never be able to buy from me again. And also go to the show notes. Try and buy the old Snowplow Show mixer if that's something that you think you might want. Because who couldn't use a mixer that doesn't even have audio sins and returns on it? It's the greatest bargain ever. I'm ending today's show with a song by Emergency Pizza Party. It's called Dogs Are Weird. 
And somebody in the voicemails, I can't remember who, but they wanted to hear this song. So here it is. This is Dogs Are Weird by Emergency Pizza Party. This is my favorite. Let's do this. Yeah. Here we go. Do it in. I want raw fish. Yeah. Or maybe slightly cooked. Do it. I don't care. I'll eat it straight off the hook. I'll buy a book on how to serve fish meat. Wrapped in seaweed with green cheese, please. 